So. So I noticed um, the set list has been slowly changing a bit since you guys have been out on tour. Has that been intentional? Did you mean to do that? Or does it have anything to do with the live recordings? Or has it just kind of been an organic thing of like, hey, we should change this up? Well, maybe a little bit of each. Uh, for sure, we want to swap it up just for us, to keep us on our toes, keep us excited, especially if we're going till summer 2010, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> You know, it's nice to throw in a, a new song, kind of whatever you're feeling, or, uh, you know, there's a, it's a fine line between having a set that's just like a well-honed weapon, you know, where, yes, we know what song is next, we just, we don't even have to think, so we can project even more. Uh, uh, there's a fine line between that and having just songs thrown into a hat and pulled out, and we'll do them however order it comes out you have to you have to have it somewhat thought out especially with pyro that's going on I was gonna say there's kind of a whole group of people and, relying and, on that set list right <laughs> well there is there's production stuff so you don't want to get caught with the uh, you know production running the show you want to be able to still have the freedom of what songs wherever you want to put them so we have a few slots in there that we can rotate songs in and out of and and keep it exciting for us especially if it happens to be, you know, a two, two in a row somewhere in the city. So, um, anything for the Bay Area date? Because it's a big hometown show. Everybody's excited to see you guys. I know you guys are excited to be here. No doubt. There's no doubt about that. You know, we've, we've been, we've been traveling around. We've basically been rehearsing for this show. <laughs> All the other. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, we're we're hear we that are, rest of the world. Your practice. Yeah, we are. We are. <laughs> we're we're pretty much in shape. And this last leg has been, uh, you know, staying at home, back and forth. You know, like at San Diego, L.A., Ontario, Fresno, things like that. So we'd be able to stay at home, you know. And it's it's nice to to hang out at home. This is just a totally different feeling when you can, you know, get up and drive to the show with your kid. You know, is this hey, one of the ways that the night. baby boom has kind of affected Metallica? A little bit. Because well, in the I last just... ten years, you guys have. Exp Popped out a lot of kids, right? Yeah, we did. We Collectively. It. it was a race. <laughs> a race uh, for the next Metallica generation. Uh, did you guys finally feel like you hit a point where it's like, okay, we can have kids and make this work with the band and the family and the... Because that's a tough balance, right? It is a tough balance, but if you're honest about it, it works really good. And uh, we're all on the same page now. Uh, Kirk's got two, Rob's got two, Lars got three, and I got three. And... Uh, all we within know. like five or eight years of each other, right? Well, uh, I would say the oldest, uh, I have the oldest 10 year old girl, and the youngest is uh, uh, Vince, which is Kurt's, Kurt's little, youngest, yeah. yeah. Which is, who knows, six months maybe? Something like that. So it spans a bit of time. But we are, we're loving it. We're loving it, especially at home. You got, we're hoping all of them would show up. We've never had a picture of them all together. Um, but just this afternoon at whatever, three o'clock, I was watching my girls. They were in a Nutcracker play back <laughs> back over in, uh, where we live. So you feel like you get that. to be a regular dad and then go play a big rock show? Yeah. I go see their show, they go see mine. You know? <laughs> Who's got the bigger crowd? Mm. Uh, we're still winning on that Okay. for now. Let's hope that stays. <laughs> Not that the Nutcracker isn't great, mm. but yeah, mm. I think so. Um, so I was kind of curious, um, the St. Anger thing, in watching the movie, um, you guys had the therapist as part of the band and did the big tour and I think public opinion about your guys' therapist was a little on the low side. <laughs> <laughs> and then it dawned on me and I thought this time around you guys are doing like the two weeks on, two weeks off or one week on, the, ba the balance of home and I thought, did somebody somewhere go, hey, that's actually probably going to save us more money than paying the therapist to come on tour with us, and it's better for us? You know. Because he's not still part of your guys' life, right? Is that still something, band therapy? He's not on call or <laughs> payroll or whatever. He's No. He's moved on. Uh, we're not, uh, you know, we're not seeing each other for holidays or anything, but. You know, we'll run into each other every once in a while. Uh, you know, he's exactly what we needed at that time, you know. And no matter what people say about it, he, he, helped, he helped to connect us together again. There's no doubt about that. And 
Um, you know, we were at a, a very different place in our lives. We were so closed off from each other. And he, he it took, you know, we're all about extremes, really. It took someone as extreme as him to bring us into the middle, you know. He had to find out where the middle was. Sitting down before we rehearse, you know, discussing how our day's going and, and working out issues and this and that. And, you know, it's a, it's a marriage or worse even. You got three guys you're married to and trying to keep, you know, yourself open enough but still protect, you know, we didn't feel very safe with each other. There was still a lot of, you know, weapons that could come out whenever, you know, that were sharp and pointed and knew where each other's buttons were. But he certainly helped us get to another point. <clears throat> and the, the point before the movie was one extreme and during the movie was another extreme. So where we are now is, is, is balanced in the middle somewhere. You know, without all that work, we wouldn't have got this great record, I don't think, at all. Um, but yeah, one week on, one week off certainly helps balance our lives, keep us out of each other's uh, uh, whatever. Craw. <laughs> danger zones, you know, where you just, you gotta, you gotta let something out and someone, you know, you always hurt the ones that you love the most because mm -hmm. they're close and you're comfortable with them. You can say the shit you wouldn't say to somebody else. Nobody fights know? like brothers. Right. And then that's pretty much how and it is. And band members. <laughs> but we've learned to deal with that now. And, uh, yeah, during the summer when the kids are out of school, we're two weeks on and then uh, coming home. So, they, you know, they'll be able to come with us. So the kids will be out on tour in some cities? Yeah. Some areas? Yeah. In summertime. And that's Which that's is fun. Europe, right, mostly? Yeah. That's, it's difficult at times, but also great fun, you know. I would think it would be great for the kids to go see Europe and well, moms can take them out while you're at Soundcheck, right? <laughs> well, they certainly have more passport stamps than I did when I was a kid. <laughs> I don't think I owned a passport till I joined Metallica. <laughs>